And Jen loves to talk about God's love, and um, she, she writes prayers to God and journals to God, and we have them in these little prayer books, and we have some out back. But um, she wrote a journal about God's love after her brain injury. And I used to read it, and I realized she was quoting it in my ear. Can you quote it? It starts, I know life can be confusing at times. Yes, I wrote, I know life can be confusing at times. It can be unfair and painful. But God loves everything about you. He created you, and he takes great delight in you. There is nothing that you can do to make God love you any more or any less than he does right now. He loved you so much that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross and to pay the penalty for your sins. It is as simple as realizing your need for a savior. I can't do it on my own and neither can you. God wants to come to your rescue. You know, God doesn't force us to love him because if he did, it wouldn't be real love. He gives us a choice. God longs to have a personal, intimate love relationship with you. He wants to be your healer, deliverer, shield and defense, strong tower, and your best friend. I think my favorite part of that, Jen, is where you write, God does not force us to love him. He gives us a choice. He gives us a choice. We, um, we wanted to close by doing something special, and I think the choir is going to sing a song. And Jen loves to um, worship God, and when she's worshiping God, you just can't help but notice that she's so in love with the Lord. And uh, there is, um, she recently just had another surgery. She had to have her thyroid removed, but there is a um, picture in our kitchen that you look at every day. Can you tell them what that picture is? Yes, um, this picture is the story in the Bible of the woman reaching out to touch Jesus' garment. And um, what I love about this story is Jesus um, says to this woman, my daughter, your faith has healed you and made you whole. And um, it's found in Mark 6.56, and it says, and all who touched him were healed. And so Jen stands at that um, painting every day, and she'll be going, yes, yes. And I'm like, what are you doing? And she'll say, I'm praying, and God's speaking to my heart, and he's not done healing me. He is still healing me. And Jennifer wants you to know that God's not done healing you either, and he's still working. He's still healing you, and he has things for you to do. If you are still alive, raise your hand. If you are still alive, it's because God has left you on this earth to tell others about him. And God is not done using you. And so um, Jennifer loves this song, and she just wants to invite you. If everybody will just stand up, she wants you to worship with her and just reach up. She's saying, raise your hands up and touch the hem of Jesus' garment and be healed. And Jen's going to do the sign language. Um, she remembered this sign language from cheer camp, and uh, she learned it before her brain injury. So. Oh, God, oh.